Question number 12. An object with small mass becomes detached from the International Space Station while it orbits the Earth. Its relative velocity with respect to the ISS can be neglected. Would the object follow the ISS in its orbit, go straight along a direction tangential to the ISS orbit at the point where it became detached, fall straight down towards the Earth, or stay still with respect to the Earth? Well, straight away we can reject D, because if D were true, then we would have this object just suspended in space above the Earth, not moving. C, I suppose, is possible. It could fall straight down towards the Earth, as are A and B. So let's, so let's think about this in more detail. Newton's first law tells us that an object will travel at a constant velocity or be stationary unless an external force is acting on it. Well, here we've, had, we've got no external forces acting on the object, so it should continue with a constant velocity. Therefore, it's not going to fall straight down to Earth. To rule out B, let's have a quick look at circular motion. We know that the force due to gravity acting on this object is equal to minus G big M little m. So big M here is the mass of the Earth, little m the mass of the object, divided by R squared. And the force, the centripetal force provided uh, must be equal to m v squared over r and we can see here that if we were to equate these two uh, equations that the small m's so that is the mass of the object would cancel that's really important to us because that tells us that the fact that this object is uh, much less massive than the uh, iss is irrelevant to the physics going on and therefore if it's continuing continuing at the same velocity at that radius then the centripetal force acting on it will be the same Therefore, it will follow the ISS in its orbit.